Does the Android device race make sense for a DVB? What is the main problem with Android-based DVB devices? Not only TVs, smartphones, laptops, PCs, etc. all require fairly powerful hardware, but now the receiver is joined the race. The question is… why? In this video we will show how even with a regular HD receiver you can watch 4K channels, or even 4K 16-bit, and how we can create a 8K 16-bit device for a DVB streaming at a relatively low cost. It will only depend on signal and on the actual device used for a streaming. That said, let's use a fairly low power HD processor in Montage 2230 as an example and demonstrate how we can use it to view 4K channels. Let's install the app first, connect the receiver to the rotary via LAN, and scan the range for Astra 19E with Ultra HD channels. And now let's watch it on a smartphone. If you have dealt with network devices in the past, you will know that the advertised speed is very different from the actual speed. At this time, the actual maximum speed of streaming via LAN is 24 megabits with Montage 2230. If there is a need, we can optimize the process, involve a hardware developer, and maybe get 340 megabits out of it. Or we can use a more powerful processor to begin with and achieve 50-60 megabit speed for 8K. And now the important question. What is easier? Develop 50-60 megabit streaming once on a regular processor and develop an application using existing AP or constantly improving very heavy Android software? What makes more sense? To make a specialized standalone device only for ATVs or make a universal accessory for all types of screens? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will also be up to date with the latest news and developments.